Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Very good evening to all of you. Welcome to an Academy Bankers Hub. I am Neharika John Mehra. एक बार मुझे बताओ यू गाइज आर एबल टू हियर मी प्रॉपरली एंड सी मी प्रॉपरली ऑल गुड ग्रेट ओके जस्ट एडजस्ट अबेट ओके सो गाइज द सेशन इज इन इंग्लिश एक्सप्लेनेशन ओके that's the first thing so if you have any of your friend and the friend um, is not comfortable in hindi he or she can definitely attend this session right and for those who don't know me i am neharika john mehra this is uh, the channel where you will be getting se sessions related to bank exams practice sessions and some motivational sessions something that will of course give you one way or the other some benefit and make sure you have subscribed our channel hit that bell icon so that you keep getting all the updates also if you want uh, the pdfs and all like today we will be doing a close test if you want pdf of the very same session or any session join our an academy telegram channel and link for the very same is given in the description box so you, you can even check out my profile my profile uh, link is there in the description box below okay I quickly like and share the session guys because i'm so sure you're going to love the session you will enjoy doing these questions and today we have um, a close test um, which is divided into two parts total 10 blanks are there so we will be doing that particular one by the time we have uh, other students joining um, let me take you through couple of updates first thing these are my plus courses so i have a course which is a preparation strategy course and here i am discussing approach and strategy for specific topic uh, that we find under english subject and the other one is a practice course okay 1 pm is time of this practice course and 3 pm is timing for the strategy course but you get these courses only when you have subscribed apart from that on daily basis i am taking um, a free session on an academy that's called a special class and it is at 9 pm daily uh, i do take some extra classes um, at 6 pm 6 to 6:30 so you can again check out my profile for further details anyone of you who wants to join an academy and who wants to take an academy subscription when i say an academy i mean subscription so you can use this code it will give you additional 10% off you can also join me over here that's my telegram channel and facebook page the english workbook and uh, here we get to see that uh, you will be um, you will be updated every single time that i have a session i have a free class i have uh, uploaded a new video for all of you 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 get all the updates over here so make sure that uh, you have joined this channel or the page or whatever you want to uh, do okay just one more thing and then we will go ahead and start with our practice so there are four batches now these batches are like you enroll in this batch and you will be getting these four educators okay you won't have to individually go find the course particular course but if you are the one looking for something that is covering basics so first um, batch is batch course on all these four subjects and uh, it all it already has started here we have ankush sir sumit sir i'm there kapil sir is there my course is starting from 13th okay after this we have other one confidence booster but again this is start this started from today and ankur sir rahul sir sukesh sir and then i am going to take care of english so even if you want the very same course it comes under this package also where you have different some of the educators are different then the one that is going to start from 6th of july is this one this is a special batch where i will be covering basics we will have nareesh sir taking reasoning sumit sir quant and sukesh sir will be taking current affairs and last but not the least this is the one which has uh, started couple of days back and uh, uh, 22nd june onwards we started doing this is this is all hindi batch so everything is going to be in hindi um explanation part is in hindi this is other batch which you can join okay so lots of information ah huh? let's come to our topic today 
close test okay once again i request to all of you uh, please do like and share if you have already done then thank you so much i really mean it so in close test um, thumb rulers are one thing which you should not be skipping is that you have to read that paragraph right now i won't be able to show you a complete paragraph because uh, i have to divide it into two parts um, otherwise it would have become very tiny on screen font would have become tiny uh, so just to save you from that uh, difficulty in reading i have uh, separated the five five of them likewise and first we will do first five blanks and then from six to two tenth i will again show you i will give you extra time show you the slide new slide and that's how we are going to do uh first uh, step is to read you go through the paragraph and you go through uh, what all is mentioned apart from blank you at least will understand theme you will understand the context you will understand maybe maybe you may get a hint or maybe directly your answer over there somewhere in other line that has happened so many times with so many of my students so they can vouch for it that reading helps a lot it will give you confidence in marking right answer apart from that uh, i will be giving you 30 seconds i believe should be more than enough i will put a timer in front of you and uh, yes we will be doing questions timer wise i hope everything is clear quickly give me confirmation so we can begin great so first i am going to give you total 1 minute 30 seconds to read the paragraph and 30 seconds to answer the right word should be remembered okay now this is the case where one may get confused between celebrated and remember it is a battle a uh, uh, this battle of rocks drift took place in south africa on this date and is a dash as one of the world's most remarkable military engagements it is most remarkable it it, it left Uh, some impression but i cannot say that it is celebrated okay so anniversaries are celebrated uh, foundation day of some or the other thing is celebrated independence day republic day is celebrated so you are so happy about it that you celebrate but in this case since it's a battle though it was remarkable no doubt it was something that stood out still we will be saying that it is remember it is remembered by the people and in what way one of the most remarkable military engagements so that would be contextually right word when you overlook something you tend to uh, ignore it in that way okay recapturing doesn't give any sense over here i need v2 i need verb in its third form not v2 verb in its third form because it is done by someone else sentence is going in passive so that's why d will come neglected of course is not giving any sense over here
time up commemorated just now we saw that this day is remembered okay so we are saying it was to be dash in 1964 with the release of film zulu giving michael kane his first major screen role so when something is done in remembrance of someone in order to give respect to that person in order to honor that person or someone something in that case commemorate word is used so you are remembering those people or maybe a person and in in order to respect um, uh, them in order to give them some honor you are doing any action in that case commemorate word is used noun form will be commemoration but here we are saying it was to be commemorated through what uh, by release of a film okay through this release of the movie they were going to remember and honor what was done long back okay so i hope you can see the context we will not dishonor again celebrating will not give any sense memorialize will not give you again good sense because it is not in the process of making a memory it is already a memory and to be praised this word has, is is wrong in its form if i'm saying to and be and then if i need to use a verb it has to be in its past participle form okay uh Okay, Mirudas, you can answer quickly. Sometimes people face internet issues, so at least I need to give them thirty seconds. Okay. Mhm. Mm Understand the context, okay? Of course, he Britain was doubtful on expanding skeptical means doubtful now i cannot use this word okay i cannot use this word now here you are thinking that it is was and that's why we should be using something which has to be a verb it's not always required was is to be verb britain was intent intent as adjective i'm saying uh, britain was encouraged britain was um, honest britain was uh not honest whatever i am saying now here intent word as adjective i am using first of all so you don't need to change the form just because was is there i can always use is am are was were and use uh an adjective after it i hope this much is clear now skeptical means doubtful why it will be doubtful because they want to expand its territory and uh, influence in south africa there is nothing to be doubtful about now britain was hesitant on expanding no it was not hesitant it was not in gross in gross is like you are deeply into something you are all lost into something okay no not because of phrasal verb phrasal verb means intent is used as verb and we are not using it as a verb abstracted okay abstracted means you are not giving your complete focus to something that means some way or the other you are not into it not focusing some other other way doubtful so i cannot use any of these words now when i say britain was intent on expanding now i am using intent word as adjective over here talking about that it was determined it it talks about retain has determination and that's why intent will come over here i hope you are understanding you cannot say no what you feel like 
you have to go with what is the meaning over here so intent over here is not exactly going to give you the the form of wise satisfaction i know it may sound odd to many but then that's that's how it is britain was in the position of determination okay and that position of determination is expressed by use of word intent over here i hope now it's making some sense encamped setting up camps because what is happening here this drift was a mission station near the border okay then we see british colony of natal and zulu kingdom had been occupied so now 139 soldiers were encamped there okay so this action of encamping setting up camps which uh, we we have heard so many times soldiers doing it military people doing it that is what we are saying here egypt is to uh, uh, throw that thing out okay that kind of uh, projectile throw is eject we cannot say that securing wrong form because i want to uh, i want to use a verb over here these soldiers were encamped there they were asked to settle camps over there evicts and lodge lodge would have been right but the form is wrong i could have used lodged over here but then again i'm not getting it in its v3 form that is verb in its uh, third form past participle that's why evict means uh, to expel someone and again it is not giving any meaning these many soldiers were encamped there the spelling is still wrong gorthi mm -hmm. it's a war situation so that picture should be there in your mind at every time at, at, at every place and every time when you are selecting your answer it has to be no correction you see they had no idea what lay in store okay so what is ahead they don't know now at this time on january a force of 4000 zulu warriors began to lay siege to the station it's about war going on and these people are of course to lay siege means they were uh, they they may be encircled them the station was all encircled and the zulu warriors may may would have uh, you know they would have asked they would have asked them to surrender so that is the kind of thing it is happening they are encircling and making and forcing them the other group the other station people to surrender and that's why siege they are not promoting supporting helping and arrest is not at all the case because it's the war kind of situation it's not something going on between police and thief or someone else like right capture uh the the process of the process that goes before act of capture that is what we see here i'm going to give you one minute for this one because you have to read for the uh, passage i know devashish that something um, something we cannot help with so just start practicing in a sheet in a in, in very tiny fonts as much as you can do
I have already given meaning of siege. Okay, so that relates with military op uh, operations and all. Oh. No one has given answer yet. Okay, I need to give extra time. Sorry, I, I'll give you extra time. That's my bad. 20 seconds extra. You do have a hint and the hint is old muskets. Okay, so musket is a kind of a weapon. If you have seen Friends, you know what is a musket. Uh, Phoebe holds it in one of the episodes. So old muskets, if it is old and rifles are of course old. So old, which are no more in trend, that is called antiquated. How can those be modern? How can their half weaponry is old and half is modern? Is it making any sense? So of course modern cannot be the right one okay functional of course it's functional that's why they are carrying it it is not about not functioning or functioning absurd remodeled doesn't give any sense nowhere we get to see that these rifles were earlier something else and now they are turned into new kind of rifles that is not the meaning over here since we are saying old muskets and will connect similar things similar standard in that case antiquated rifles will be used okay functional means they are in working condition so of course if they are carrying these weaponries they will be in working condition else they would have left it Of course, highly trained. Because I'm using word highly, it's a whole war situation. So these soldiers, they might be enthusiastic, but not at this point. Highly enthusiastic, what will I do of the enthusiasm? I need to talk about how good they are in what they do. So that's why highly trained soldiers, innocent, idealistic, like they have no flaw. In that case, we will say they are idealistic. Callow means that they are not mature, they are inexperienced. So this will give a negative meaning over here, which we don't want. Highly callow, that will mean that they don't know anything. Okay, they just uh, uh, passed out written exam and now they are here. So we are not saying that thing over here. Highly trained soldiers. So what happened? After nearly 12 hours, dash wave after wave of attacks involving hand-to-hand -hand combat, a number of soldiers lay dead, repulsing. Okay, that would come very good. Aid means help doesn't make any sense because I need one adjective over here. What kind of wave it was? Attractive wave? No. Enchanting means attractive. If attractive is wrong, enchanting is also wrong. Acceptance. I don't need noun over here. Repulsing is the right word. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
you can relate towards the end let me know out of 10 how many have you done correct but once we are done with all 10 of them we still have got one left mm -hmm. of course and probably in no condition to repel another assault okay so it's like they want to escape accepting helping satisfying and assisting why would they would want to assist one more assault or accept it but it is going in the other direction that is to repel no 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 what we are seeing over here a number of british soldiers lay there most of the others were exhausted rapidly running out of ammunition they don't have enough weaponry probably in no condition they they have no option they are not in this condition to repel another assault how they will be escaping from this how they will move in opposite direction from another assault if it comes so that's how it is and the 10th one now In the long annals of military history, it is difficult to find anything quite like this drift, where a dash force outnumbered 42 one survived and killed 20 men for every defender lost. So this is the ratio which we are getting. What kind of force do we see? Helping force? No. I need an adjective and that adjective should be explaining well how this force is emancipative that means liberate only emancipative liberate synonyms and both are in wrong forms if liberate is wrong then of course emancipative is also wrong isolates wrong form form even even if you don't know the meaning but you understand forms of word you will definitely understand that beleaguered is something which we see over here what is the meaning of be legged? Okay, when uh, when when it is a, a situation where a person is put in that difficult situation, in that kind of uh, scenario, we say be legged. Okay, so that's what we are saying here. That in in the in the history, it is difficult to find anything like this where a force and what kind of force which was in a difficult position, this kind of a force outnumbered forty to one. In that way, you know they have won that war, that battle. Okay, great. So we are done here. Uh, yeah, this was a close test. Keep practicing this way and soon I'll come up with more um, courses for all of you and more sessions for all of you courses on an academy plus of course and uh, sessions over here. Once again, showing you all the batches so you can check out their names and you can find them easily on an academy plus. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Any of you, if you are planning, you have one more option. So when you are planning to get subscription and if you feel this is so much for you to like select a plan and then enter the code and all, you have a direct link in description box, which will take you to the, uh, uh, to the, to the payment page. Okay. You just need to select your plan and you will be directed along with the code applied. You can use that direct link if you want to subscribe right away okay we'll be seeing you at nine uh rrb rule ke baare mein apna view bataiye um uh, of course this rule you are saying i think you are asking about only one sheet which is uh, to be given i think they will give you a lengthy sheet or something they will figure out a way they won't do anything unfair so don't take it as uh, there is something unfair being done to you all because whatever is rule for you it's the same rule for your competitor it's the same rule for everyone giving the same exam um, don't think that um, 
there is something uh, wrong going on with you you are being wrong it's not the case i know it is difficult it is not what one could have thought of but it's there so we have to accept it one way or the other hai na face the reality start practicing the same way from now onwards like whenever you sit with a rough sheet try to only use one sheet if it is possible uh, let's see how it goes maybe maybe there maybe some changes so that could be a good news for many of you okay um fine time to leave thank you so much for being here all of you take care thank you so much once again see you at 9 pm